Uh, I was approached by a lady, Romy, and she runs a company called Alley Cat Creative. And uh, if was interested in painting the um, front of the Sea Life Aquarium on Flinders Street, it's is quite a big uh, feature rusted wall, an architectural element there, that they've never done anything with, it's just meant to be rust. And um, I thought I'd jump at that chance, it's an awesome opportunity. The process to find the design, the aquarium put it out to their members. Um, if anyone under 16 would like a uh, submitted design. So we got a couple of hundred entries and I was really into this idea of they would do a design and I'll use that as inspiration to then do my design on top of it. A lot of people ask me when I started to do art and I guess they mean like full time as an artist but essentially I think we all start at the same time when we're like you know, this age and uh, I just never really have stopped I guess when most people grow out of it. Yeah, so we got all these great entries. This is probably my favourite, the smiley. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and then, of course, I do my version of it. So I thought we'd go with the jellyfish. And one thing that the uh, people in the aquarium was thinking it could uh, incorporate some neon colours into that. And when I was walking through the aquarium, taking some photos and, and doing research, um, the probably the trippiest um, ex exhibit there is the moon jellyfish they've got the leds that change colors and these jellyfish are, look like they're ufos from some other planet so i thought i'd use that as the the main feature i think what i'm going to do is use a lot of uh spray can use a lot of transparency and use uh some neon colors so this is a five minute experiment uh, but i think we're going to go with a lot of hot pink and purple and electric blues yeah. 